The gas law, which we call Charles Law, was first published by the French scientist and philosopher Gay Lussac in 1802, but he generously gave the credit and the name to Jacques Charles, who did the original work 20 years earlier. The law relates the volume of a fixed mass of gas to its temperature, providing the pressure remains constant, a connection I'm aiming to demonstrate here. Lying on top of this pack of sausages in the freezer are a syringe containing only air and a thermometer. If you want to try this yourself, by the way, the sausages are not essential. I'm going to use this small rubber cap to seal the syringe so that it contains a fixed amount of air. As you can see, the syringe contains 12 millilitres of air, or 12 cubic centimetres. The syringe has been in the freezer for some time, so its temperature, like that of the thermometer, is minus 19 degrees Celsius. I've then removed the syringe from the freezer and immersed it in a bowl of warm water, the temperature being monitored with a probe. The bubbles of air you can see are not escaping from the syringe, but they were trapped underneath the syringe as it was put into the bowl of water. The syringe has been lubricated to try to reduce the effects of friction. This is, however, no more than a demonstration. It is not an accurate experiment. For the second pair of measurements, the first being in the freezer, you can see that the volume is now 14 cubic centimetres, and the temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. For the third pair of measurements, I'm boiling the water in the microwave, removing the vessel and re-immersing the syringe and temperature probe, allowing some time for the temperature to equalise between the probe, the syringe and the water. You can see now that the volume has increased to 16 cubic centimetres and the temperature, whilst not boiling, is 87 degrees Celsius. Graphing these three pairs of results, they fall neatly into a straight line. This direct proportionality between volume and temperature is Charles' law. We can replace the proportionality sign with an equal sign by inserting a constant. Adding to the graph by labelling our first volume and temperature V1 and T1 and our final volume and temperature V2 and T2, we can rearrange our equation to show that V1 over T1 is equal to a constant. And since the mass of the gas trapped in the syringe remained the same, and assuming that the pressure remains constant because the barrel of the syringe is free to move, it follows that V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. And this is probably the most common algebraic expression of Charles' law. Thinking about this law in terms of molecular movement, it is the impact of molecules on the surface that cause the pressure within a gas. If we heat a gas, then its extra energy is contained by the extra kinetic energy of the molecules. The faster molecules hit the sides of the container harder and push it outwards. Because the space is larger, the molecules don't hit the sides quite so often, and therefore the pressure is again reduced. Thank you for watching.